with Dennis Scott on the call. Happy to have you with us here on NBA TV over this holiday weekend for some summer league hoops. And the putback is good for the LA Clippers. And that is Amit Embai. He is huge down there. Big wide body. Looks like he lives in the weight room. Pardon me. That is McMorrow. Liam McMorrow, 7'2", 275 out of Tennessee Tech. About early, that's the kind of intensity Scott Skiles would want to, want to see night in and night out, every day at practice. Can you bring that defensive intensity? The three and one, see if some of can take care of it. McMorrow with the rebound off the second miss from... Pazonia from deep. Mm. Just missed it. You like the confidence to quick oh, fire yes. that one? Yes, you know me and shooters. We have confidence to shoot the ball that far out. Got he didn't want the open baseline, Jay. Gordon from the free throw line. Sure. Well, that concerns me a little bit. I know Pazonia missed his last shot, but you got to shoot that next shot. You're wide open on the baseline. Those are the kind of shots you got to continue to have confidence in and take. Tim Duncan, Greg Popovich, uh, the, the language that they use, the tradition that they have, and and the habits that they've developed. Uh, everyone comes there. Uh, they work hard uh, during the off season. Duncan, LaMarcus Aldridge, dynamic, defensively, offensively. Who's in the paint? Who's, you know, at the, the high post or the elbow? Who's center? Who's power forward? How would you work that out? Well, fortunately enough, a pop to go around. Um, you know, he'll have to become a better screen setter than he's been in the past. He picked up now to get an easy buckets. I think Brandon Dawson has done a lot for the comeback here for the Los Angeles Clippers. With There's a look at Liam McMorrow. Like I said before, he's huge. Seven foot two, 275. Oof. Big young man. And, you know, if he can prove that he can play here, there's a spot. The Los Angeles Clippers right now do not have a center. DeAndre Jordan reportedly going. Man. I mean, with all the movement now, and LaMarcus Aldridge now is going to San Antonio, now look for the shift. Of all the big guys in the Western Conference. Now, you still have Marcus Saul and Zach Randolph still in Memphis, but now San Antonio, they're a different, different animal now. Costa Kufis becomes an interesting name right now. He's going to be involved as well, so he's done a good job with some good basketball minds and people around him. Well, Steve Kerr did a great job of that, I thought, last That's year right. with Golden State. When you look at uh, Golden State Warriors, in my opinion, is being able to check your ego at the door from the top all the way by one, under five seconds to go. Harvey scoops, cannot score, and there is a offensive oh. foul. Oh, with the knee? I thought it was a clear out with the arm, but I guess the old school Bobby D. Dandridge. Not as, not as prominent as uh, Bobby Dandridge did. There you see the knee. Uh, Kind of caught McMorrow. It rained. It not rain long, so we call them sunny showers. I love it. <laughs> Fourth quarter underway. Rick Hamlet, Dennis Scott on the call. Thanks to Alex Martins and Victor Oladipo for joining us previously in this broadcast. Let's go, man. I got to get it to you. You should it, and uh, you know Nick Vucevic has been around for a minute, but you got a lot of young guys. So do you think? I mean, again, purchased from the Pelicans for over six hundred thousand dollars. Walters has passed on to McMorrow, got his feet together, and put it in off glass. And the Clippers have tied this baby up, fifty-eight apiece. I like McMorrow. He's all day long. Here's Peyton. Nice kick out into the corner. Yikes. Aaron Gordon's done so many good things offensively and with the skill set, and they're here mailed that one. McMorrow, rim running, and he's fouled under the hoop by Crawford. Well, last shot by Gordon. They now meet, you know, all these new people who believe in you. I'm not sure. Uh... I hear great things about Barcelona. I've never been. And there is McMorrow, five points, four rebounds in about 12 minutes. FC Barcelona. Wilcox and Hamilton each have 11 to lead the Clippers. And Nate Walters, yes, a step, a good one here. The Orlando Magic practice facility. Nate Walters, look at this, scooting to the hoop and scoring. We are tied at 63. Why would you? Brandon Dawson keeping the dribble alive. He's going and scoring. Plus one, Brandon Dawson. Flexing here. Four on the shot clock. Walters in trouble. Coming off the McMorrow screen. Back to McMorrow. And he dunks it. Did he uh, have some happy feet with that when he got away with it? <laughs> Looked like he might have taken an extra step, but I didn't hear a tweak, so it must have been good. <laughs> <laughs> he puts the Clippers up 68-67. McMorrow's been a factor, 7-5. and five. 
Off the clipper. Bit. Bruising screen from McMorrow. Freeze Walters for the J. I love it. I love Walters playing with confidence, keeping his dribble alive. Excellent possession for the Clippers. Walters has 12 points, four assists, six of 13. Very efficient game for him. And the Clippers lead by three, just over two minutes to go. Peyton drives. Looks, he just put an exclamation mark on his fantastic summer league debut. There's Mick Morrow. And we are under 10 seconds. Alfred Payton in a tie game. Lando Blue trying to get the victory here. Two seconds. Payton got it off. Shot clock violation. So will they put eight tenths back or two tenths back? Or, or are we through regulation? Uh, I think they're going to give them something. Point eight. So they are putting point eight back on the, maybe get something at the rim, maybe a quick catch and shoot, but break down this possession. Well, I'm not sure. Uh, Adrian Griffin said, okay, Alfred Payton, I'm going to give you the ball. You just go one-on-one -on -one and shake and bake and dribble the air out of the ball and get a contested shot. That's my problem with that position. On the flip side, you give the Clippers a lot of credit because they played good, solid defense and, and took Orlando Magic out of their set play. So they didn't get a good possession. Right here, Alfred Payton going one-on-one. -on -one. Morrow, good contest. Now you got point eight. Let's see what the Clippers can draw up now. And can they pay attention to detail in the huddle to make sure? Maybe something on the perimeter here. Uh, something on the perimeter. Quick hitter, quick screen, and someone step into it and knock it down. And you might can get maybe a quick pass, but then again, with point eight, it's got to be a quick shot. Try to make this that much tougher. And they were trying to get something to the rim for McMorrow, but off of his hand. And we have overtime here between Orlando Blue and LAC. Yeah, good idea. You called to the inside. Better pass. Maybe McMorrow could have had uh, a better chance of scoring. McMorrow's a giant out here. 7 2, you say? 7 foot 2. Mm. So Brendan O'Connor designing a play for the big fella. And they do put four tenths of a second on the clock. I breaks it down, Tricky. I breaks that's it down. That's superstar analysis. I breaks it for down, Dennis baby. Scott. I break it. State 14 and 14. Here is Gordon facing up on Dawson. Spinning on Dawson. And it's turned away by McMorrow. Excellent move to get by Dawson and McMorrow. That's what big guys are supposed to do. Supposed to be on that weak side help. Excellent job of rotating without fouling. Give what? me that and get that out of here. So on the spin, I bet Gordon thought, I got a layup, baby. We got the lead. He thought that. That they should be automatically 90% free throw shooters. So you haven't shot the ball all game long, and now you get there. You say he's. Peyton comes off the screen. Kick out to Gordon. 